This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and uh, we're going to take a look today how to solve system of uh, equations, and specifically, we're going to talk about how to solve a system of three equations and three unknowns. So here you'll notice I've got three equations, equation one, equation two, and equation three. I also have three unknowns, otherwise known as three variables. Here's an x, a y, and a z. So it's a special case, uh, special scenario. All right, so to cancel this, there's some strategy. So let's talk about strategy. The strategy is, if you remember from the elimination method, which we have another video on that, uh, or sometimes called multiplication addition method, we multiply an equation by something so that we can line up uh, coefficients to be opposites. Like if this was a 2, boy, I could add these two equations to cancel the z. If this was a negative 3, I could add it to this equation, cancel the z. And that's what I like to do. I like to cancel some z's, and then you'll see what happens next. All right, uh, likewise, what I like to do is to uh, take a look at the other possibility. I could also use this equation right here. I can make this, uh, multiply this by something to get a 2, add it to cancel that. I can multiply something here to get negative 3, add it to that to cancel. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this last equation. All right, so if I want to cancel it with the middle equation, I need to get this to be a 2. Right now the coefficient is a 1 because you don't see it there. It's a 1, so I need to multiply it by a 2. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply that guy by 2. So I'm going to get, let's see, 2 times x minus 2y plus 3z equals negative 18. And we're really multiplying both sides of this equation by 2. All right, so what do we get? We're going to get 2x minus 4y, and let's see, a 6z. And finally, multiply that by 2, you get a negative 36. All right, uh, also, let's uh, just rewrite that middle one. Going to rewrite the middle equation, not changing it one bit, minus c equals 13. All right, now what we're going to do is add those two equations together, and you'll see that the x's will cancel. So I add these guys together, I get 1y. Add those guys together, that, remember that's a negative 1, so negative 1 plus 6 is 5z. And I add those guys together, I think that's negative 23. All right, so now I've got an equation. This equation has y and z in it. All right, now if I can get another equation that has y and z in it, I can solve that. All right, so here's my strategy. I canceled x. Notice how I canceled the x here. So I'm going to have to cancel the x one more time. So instead of using the bottom two equations, I'm going to now use the bottom one and the top one. All right, this time to get these x's to cancel, I'm going to make this a negative 3 by uh, multiplying this whole equation by negative 3. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to multiply, let's see, negative 3 times x minus 2y plus 3z equals negative 18. So let's do that. Uh, if I do that, I'm going to get negative 3x. Uh, let's see, plus 6y minus 9z, and let's see, I think that's 54, 24, yeah, yep, that's positive 54. All right, and again, I'm going to write down the top equation, which is 3x plus 7y minus 2z equals 27. Again, I'm going to write that by adding. I'm going to add these two, and again, you'll see the x's will cancel. This time, I'm going to get 13y. Here, I'm going to get 9, 10, 11. That's negative 11z. And you add here, let's see, 70, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, it's 81. And there you have it. So now I've got two equations. All right, so they're not just any old two equations, though. You'll notice that I've got y 
plus 5z equals negative 23, right? That was that one. And now we got this one, which is 13y minus 11z equals 81. All right, now at this point, you should be able to solve this by some method. Substitution, uh, elimination, whatever method you want. Um, I'm going to do it real quickly, and again, I'm going to use the elimination. So I'm going to multiply this top equation, and I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative 13, right, to cancel these guys. So I'm going to multiply this top guy by negative 13. All right, now I'm going to put the answers to this multiplication, and I'm going to squeeze those answers right here. Okay. So let's see, 13, negative 13 times 1 is negative 13. Let's see, negative 13 times 5 is negative 65. You could always use a calculator to get those numbers. All right, and then we're going to multiply a negative times a negative, so that will be a positive. And I multiplied these earlier to get 299. All right, so now I set these guys up to cancel the y's. So I'm going to get, let's see, negative 76. Negative 76z. And let's see, I'm going to add those together. It's going to be the 1, 17, 18, 3. So I get 380. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by negative 76. I did this earlier with a calculator, and I find out that z is equal to negative 5. All right, so there you go. Now I've got one solution. Now remember, I'm trying to find a solution for z, for y, and x. All right, now you'll see that it's pretty nice to work with once you have one solution. It kind of, you know, you, you kind of chain reacts, and you can find all the other ones. All right, now. Uh, I'm going to take this answer and I'm going to plug it in right here for this value inside this equation right here. Yeah, I'm not going to put it inside the original because I got three variables. Plugging in a z isn't going to help me find any of these other two. So I have to use an equation that has only two variables in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug it in right here for that z value. Okay, except I'm going to show the work right here. So negative, oh, not negative. That is just a y plus 5 times z equals negative 23. All right, but remember z is negative 5. So I get y minus 25 is equal to negative 23. So to cancel this, I add 25 to both sides. So I get y equals 40. Oh, no, I'm sorry. One's positive, one's negative. So I believe that is 2. And there you go. I've got my two solutions now. i got z. I've got y. Now the last thing I need is x. All right, and I need a little bit more space. I'm hoping this is going to be enough space for me. Now at this point, I could use any equation. And it looks like this last one here is probably going to be the easiest to use. So I'm going to use that. It says x minus 2 times y plus 3z is equal to negative 18. So in place of y, I put 2. In place of z, I put negative 5. And I'll do some calculations. See, I've got an equation with only x in it, so I'll be able to solve this. So it's x minus 4, minus 15, is equal to negative 18. All right, I think I may need a little bit more space here, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So let's see, I need uh, to combine these two together. So that is minus 19. Okay, 
and then to get rid of this negative 19 I add 19 to both sides alright so what do we get we add 19 to both sides I'm going to get x equals 1 and there is the third and last answer so what is the total final answer to this problem well, I'm going to scroll up just a hair so we can see the original problem. The final answer is, remember we're always going to put this as an ordered pair, so we put it as, uh, let's see, we're going to put it as x, y, and z. So that's going to be 1, 2, negative 5. Remember it's x, y, and z. Okay, there you have it. So there's the final solution. 1, 2, negative 5 is an ordered triplet in this case. All right, so this is how you do it. You eliminate one letter twice. You get it down to a system of two equations and two unknowns, and then it's all uh, hopefully just routine from that point. So make sure you check out our other videos on MathGuy.com, Interactive Activities and Lessons. Have a good day.